In this video, we're going to look at the various types of items that can be added to format clocks in the professional edition of Music One. You have your categories created first, and you have to have at least one music card in a category with a length on it. It's the average length of the songs within a category that determine the pie slice size that show up on the format clock, so you need to have some content in the category to build a graphical clock. Click the Format button at the top of the screen. Clock names you've already created are in the left column. To create a new one, open the File menu and select New and name the clock. An empty window appears. On the right side of the screen, click the button with the little yellow flag icon and the plus sign. The Add Format Clock Item window appears. The Music button shows your music categories. Non-Music button shows your non-music categories. The Professional Edition of Music One has another button named Special. Here, you can add spot breaks that can be used to either import an advertising schedule from your traffic and billing software, or include a spot break marker in the log file it makes so your playout or automation system can properly merge the music log and the advertising logs. There's another video about spot breaks and the various ways they can be used. Player commands give special instructions to an automation system, like mm, join the network at 5 seconds past the top of the hour, or do a time update at 59.59. Linked track units allow you to link non-music items with songs. For example, you could link audio tracks about an artist to songs by that artist. A song by an artist gets scheduled, a voice track about the artist is scheduled next to it. An oldie from 2005 is scheduled. Music One then gets a 2005 hit year stager and schedules that just before the song. There are a lot of exotic things you can do with link tracks. A song search unit can be used to direct Music One to automatically search for a specific kind of song for example, if you wanted to do double shots where you schedule two songs by the same artist back to back, or maybe you want to schedule an up tempo dance hit from between 2005 and 2009 in this clock position, then you can add a song search item to get that done. Non song search is the same type of function for non music units. Specific Song allows you to instruct Music One to schedule a specific song at a set position on a format clock. The same function is available for non-music tracks. Clone Existing shows a list of every individual unit that appears on any and all clocks in your Music One system. After you've built a number of clocks, you'll see the same category appears again and again and again down this list. See, here's Primary Gold on the PM clock. Primary gold on the PM clock. Primary gold is used about eight times on that clock. Now, this function is something that you'll very rarely use. You may never use it, actually. But what it's most useful for is to add to a new clock player commands and spot breaks that have already been constructed in another clock. Rather than having to create the same player command every time you build a clock that needs that player command, you can just add a clone of the command to the new clock you're building. 